All right, this thing had a locked rotor. And we know that the locked rotor was the main bearing on the crankshaft. So why did it lock? Well, let's take a look. Here's our crankcase right here, and I put it back in to the uh, compressor itself, compressor can. And if you look down there, you can see there's the oil level right there. Now that's high enough. It's about halfway through this main bearing here. Well, the oil pump's on the bottom of it, so it should have been able to pull oil up out of there. Well, it probably couldn't pull enough all the time. A lot of times on startup, get, the level gets dropped simply because of the startup. And being as that's only about halfway up, I'm thinking it just didn't get enough oil up through the crankshaft. Now, I've taken the crankshaft apart here a little bit. Looking at this crankshaft, you can see down here, this is the one that goes all the way down. It fits down in like that. And the bearing looks pretty good. This one, a couple of scores on it, but it's still okay. Hasn't been heating. Now this one here, let's get a little closer to this. Now you can see some heat on this thing. I've just broken away this other bearing. Uh, and it's rough. That's been heating. There has not been getting enough lubrication. Now if you look at this thing a little closer, and you, you can see where I end up cutting it up, but with a hacksaw, but that hole right there is for the lubrication to come up. The oil pump pumps that lubrication up there. Well, it's the highest bearing, so if there was going to be a shortage, that would be the one that would get shorted. Plus, it's also the one with the most load on it. This bearing failed because of oil level. This thing should have had more oil in it than it has. So, there's oil in this thing. Let's see how much. It's going, yeah, you know, it's about an inch and a quarter or so of oil uh, in the bottom. To me, this looks like there's not enough oil in it. And so what I think happened is this thing failed because of lack of lubrication. It's normal for these compressors to pump oil out into the system. And if the system's working okay, it'll return that oil back to the compressor. But if certain conditions exist, they won't return that oil, and it'll starve this thing. Now this one, this one is a locked rotor due to low charge in the equipment. The oil was pumped out of it into the system, and not enough of it came back for proper lubrication. That's why this thing failed. I'm going to do another video about oil pumping and how that oil gets back to maybe give you a better idea of why this happens. But anyway, that was the failure on this thing, was low charge caused the oil to pump out and the compressor locked rotor. That's it on this one.